Okay, today is Monday and it's Meet Me at the Sew Machine Day here at Always in Stitches in Noblesville, Indiana. It's the 29th of November. Uh, I know you're home eating turkey leftovers. I know you are. But put them down because I'm going to show you a fun, quick, easy project to do. You may have already seen this because it's all over YouTube, but some of my people may not have seen them and I want you guys to be in the know. So that's the reason I'm going to do this for you today. Just a quick little uh, thing that you can do for if you need a quick gift uh, to take to a housewarming or a gift exchange or something, this is the way to go. You get yourself any kind of a charm pack. Now a charm pack is five inch squares and they are usually uh, 42 squares and to make this project you only need five so how many does that mean you can get out of a out of a charm pack 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 you can get eight eight of these coasters I'm gonna make you some coasters I don't even think I told you that eight coasters anyway eight coaster set I mean eight coasters so that's two sets if you give four each to a person so that's all you need now, something you may not have seen, that's why you come visit me, because I show all the fun, interesting tips and tricks and hints, is that I use a piece of felt. Now, we have this wool felt in every possible color you could imagine, and I just cut a four and a half inch square of it. It's going to give my coaster a little bit more stability and soak up, you know, because the fabric is going to soak some of the... What is that condensation yeah, condensation. condensation around the drink so i use this and you'll see how that uh happens i'm going to bring my so uh my pressing uh over here and i'm going to take my five inch square and actually you can do this with almost any size inch square but because you buy a charm pack they're already uh cut for you wiles them cuts down on the time so I'm going to take it wrong sides together and I'm just going to fold it in half. Now, you can say fold it in half the long way, but it's a square, silly. <laughs> so you can fold it in half any way you want. It's still going to come out the same. So I'm just going to take four of the five pieces and I'm going to fold them in half, uh, press them in half. You're going to, I mean, you're going to be spellbound at how this is going to work. Spellbound. I'm excited. Yeah. You've never seen it, you said. This is I Cappy. Don't, I haven't. No. Cappy's is standing in for Peter today. <laughs> uh, apology for the videographer's skills right Peter, now. Peter is off doing something fun and wild and crazy, I'm sure. But anyway, that's Peter. So four of the five five-inch squares or any size square if you want to make them six or eight or whatever. But I'm telling you, if you buy a charm pack, it's going to be... Uh, super fast and easy. You're also going to need one of these point turners. Oh, I love We that love these tool. drits, a uh, point turner, and it's really economical, $4.99. So, so a piece of felt, felted wool or wool felt or this felt that we have here, craft felt, whatever. And I'm going to take my square, I mean, I'm going to take my uh, pieces and with the the uh, folded side, the raw sides to the outside, okay? The folded sides to the inside. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay these on top, one on top of the other. Then I'm going to lay this one on top. What I'm going to do is take that underneath one. See, I can't see all four of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this one back and flip this one back. And that's just kind of like weaving them together. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. Now that, there's nothing hard about that. You just make sure all the edges are kind of lined up together. And then you take this and with right sides together. Now this, this is, you're not going to have to move. It's right sides no matter which side's up. So right sides together on that. And then with this, the bottom, you lay that on top. Now, I just don't know what's going to be more easier than this. You just sew around it. I don't even have to take my shoes off for this. This is how... What? Are you sewing with your shoes on? I am sewing with my shoes on. Oh and I'm not gosh. pinning. I'm not even pinning, people. This is just... Oh, shoot. It's been so long since I've met you at the sewing machine. I was off for a week, you know. I went to Texas. It was lots of fun. Tammy and I, we sewed together. 
Cammie's my best friend, if this is the first video of mine you've watched. But Tammy and I got to sew together. It was lots of fun. And I went to Moda Fabrics in Texas and got to set up the new uh, sewing machine room there. And uh, sewed a few days at the warehouse. That was lots of fun. Oh, Lenine's here. I need to show her the pictures of the warehouse. Okay, now I'm gonna cut that. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna trim my corners. You know, anytime you have something square and you're gonna turn it inside out, you wanna cut those corners. That just lessens up the bulk, makes the corner easier. But now look, I'm not, I'm not cutting right into where the intersection is. Just cutting a little bit of that bulk out. Now look at this, this is gonna freak you out. You just, this opens up and you turn this inside out. <laughs> Oh this, I mean, you can't get any easier than this, people. This would be a good kid project. This is a great project. You know, you could do this on Christmas Day with all the nieces yeah. and nephews yeah. and grandkids and all that. Now, this is what the point turner's for. You got to get that point nice and pointy. I have one of those by my. Uh, it it gets used all yeah. the time. There's well, so many things you can do with it. I I forgot to bring mine from home today, and this is the second time I've I've been here and needed one. So I just said, Lenine, can you spend five dollars, four dollars and ninety nine cents on me to have my very own point turner here in the classroom? And she said. Well, I'll have to think about it. I'll, <laughs> I'll check what the budget is. <laughs> check with the boss. <laughs> and uh, so. So I'm we like, have one less to sell, and this, yeah. it, hopefully this we have we have about five of them. Okay, good. Stock, okay, so. five in stock. So, so order we're, fast. We're doing pretty good, uh, but this would fit nice in a stocking. It would fit nice in a stocking. So I'm telling you what, if uh, if you don't have one, and you know somebody needs to get you a nice little gift, this would be the the thing to do. For years, I used a chopstick. I had uh, yeah. a chopstick. And yeah. then I got, I was like, I don't need one of those. What's well, nice about this, too, is it's got a curved yeah. edge because sometimes you're taking a curved mm -hmm. edge and you want that curved. So this is a two-in-one kind of a deal. It's it was a, it's so much nicer than a chopstick. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. It's worth it. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to get those points out. Now, that's usually where it stops. They usually take it over. You know, you kind of get your seams all pressed out, and you press it, and then that's a coaster. Can you believe that? Can you believe how fast and easy that was? Now, see, I could take the whole charm pack and get me a set of four and give those as a gift, and I chose this. I mean, you can make them out of uh, fabric for Christmas. I chose this because we had a bunch of these in stock. It's the... Sincerely yours. Thank you. Sincerely yours by Sherry and Chelsea. And, um, but my secret tip is, I thought this went so good with that little heart. It does. Is you can take this and you can slip it inside. Now, I didn't put it in before. I could have before I turned it. And that would have been easier. But I just want you to see how easy it is to slip that inside. And this just gives it just a little bit more stability so that when you're setting it on the table and it's supposed to soak up that uh, moisture out of your drink. Now this takes a little fidgeting. And you know what? It's always more fidgety on camera than of it is off camera. So when you asked what this was, I didn't realize, but we've I've actually seen where they take and slide the wine glass base. Right, right. They make them smaller. Yeah. They make them a lot smaller. And then, yeah, you put your wine glass, and it's a ready-made coaster. And yeah. if you make them all different, I guess wine drinkers, they walk around with the same kind of glass. Because like, isn't a wine glass like a, a certain shape glass or something like that? Yeah, she's shaking her head. Yes, I know you can hear that. <laughs> But anyway, I so, don't I don't drink wine. Yeah. But, okay. But. So anyway, yeah, they just take their. I wish we had one, but yeah, they I just think we slip have one it on in. Display somewhere, but yeah. They just slip it in there, and the stem comes out of there, and then it, you walk around, and it has already has its coaster, so you can sit it down anywhere you want. And I think we have fabric out there with grapes and stuff that's made for wine. Would oh, that be a great Christmas? Yeah, 
Yeah. That'd be so cool. That'd be fun. But look at how easy that was. Now, nice see, that flat. gives it a little bit more stability with that flannel or felt in there. And then you just sit your drink on it or your cup of tea or your hot chocolate or whatever. And it won't, yeah, ruin, it won't ruin your surface. And it's just, you can package those up so nice. You can just stack four on there, put a ribbon on them, and it's an instant gift. I Very just, cool. I just can't tell you how easy and fun these are to make. And uh, people who love their furniture love these because <laughs> then they don't have those white rings on their furniture. So I wanted to leave you with something quick and easy that you could do, uh, get started on for some quick and easy gifts. And that was one of them. I don't know if I'll come up with something else next week. I've got kind of a gadget in mind for next week that I discovered while I was at Moda. And if you guys are making, uh, oh, what are those uh, calendars where you put a little gift in each one? Advent. If you guys are making Advent calendars, you're going to want one of these. Because I made an Advent calendar for... Um, uh, a catalog shoot while I was at Moda and I used one of these and it was the bee's knees. I loved it very much. So I think I'll share that with you next week. Okay. So until then, you know what? It's going to be December next time I see you. Unbelievable. At Meet Me at the Sew Machine. Thanks. Bye.